Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remaster. Today we're taking a look at the 1990 Lotus Elan 1.6, the 90s Elan, the front wheel drive one, the one everyone loves to hate and I love to love this car. I, I really, really like uh, this generation of Elan. I'll be honest, the old Elan doesn't appeal to me. This one does. There's just something about the way it looks, sort of the wedginess and it's just interesting and... Obviously, you've got that Isuzu engine, which should mean uh, it should be reliable. And eventually, this even got turned into a Kia. I don't know why the Kia Elan isn't in this game. Maybe that can be something for the Project A-Spec guys to look at. Anyways, this is front engine, front wheel drive, 237 horsepower, 917 kilos. It's light. It's not very powerful. Uh, let's see how quick it is. It's going to get six laps of the most sports land up tracks at the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the TBL server, LM Edition, Lotus Elan. Unlikely to beat that. Either one of the Lotus Alans, to be honest with you. Um, this, I don't really know. We have had something comparable to this, and it was the Fiat Barchetta, um, which was blisteringly quick. 31.076, the Barchetta, one of the fastest front-wheel drive cars we've had. And that is very similar to this, in the sense that it's a front-wheel drive roadster. Uh, the key difference is, though, that had about 30 more horsepower on this and was just about as light as this is so I don't think it's quite going to be going into that ballpark I think this will do well to smash into the 31s I think as long as it can smash into the 31s anything beyond that is uh, good obviously front wheel drive one of my favorite drivetrains for this circuit not like there's many to pick from uh, it's a little bit slidey on the way out of corners uh, a little bit of uh, as we've seen before, a little bit of oversteering in your front wheel drive car. Yeah, there you go. It will get its rear end out if uh, if it's provoked. 32.611, that's not quite into the 31s like one was hoping. Uh, but we'll see how much time there is in this. Fortunately, unlike that skyline we had last time, uh, this is one of those cars that's quite slow, so you can usually uh, drive it a lot better, uh, a lot more closer to what would be its actual pace ceiling although of course the uh, the issue with that is if you do make a mistake on a lap uh, there's no way to go ahead and get that time back 32.149 that's pretty good where is that 32 point no that's not good at all that that's terrible actually okay I've just realized if this can't break into the 31s, Mazda MX-5, 32.088. Can the Lotus Elan get the last lap on the MX-5s? Although, admittedly, there's going to be turbocharged MX-5s to come around this course, so... Maybe it's not so much a last lap as a, uh, a first blow to uh, the, the mighty MX-5s, but we'll see. But if you've got to pull something out of the bag Lotus, it's now, though, because there's not any more of a... Uh, your front wheel drive kin to go around this track. I don't know why they didn't put the turbo version in this game, in all honesty. Um, the turbo version is mentioned in the description, so it's evidently something they could have done. They've just decided, for uh, whatever reason, not to. Run to the line. Ah, come on, get under 31. You know you want to, Lotus. Mighty front wheel drive Lotus. How all Lotuses should be. Except you don't listen to that because the Esprit's been around here and it's over a second and a half quicker than this is. That was not a particularly amazing first sector, or second sector, but it's going to be enough. 31.534. We pulled it out of the bag at the end of that. Yeah, that was a challenge um, to extract that much lap time out of this. It's... Look, it, it's... Just not got enough power. I think that's the uh, the big issue here. 211 horsepower. It isn't really all that much around here. Ideally, you want to have at least 300 to have a shot of putting in uh, a respectable time. Yeah, that Sector 2 was slow. I, there might be 0.2 in there, as there usually is, but... Uh, 
yeah, nevertheless. 31.534 will slap it right in the middle of the Mugen Accord, SIRT, and the Mazda Demio. It does beat the Unos Roadster by quite a ways, beats the Dodge Avenger, uh, Peugeot 306, so it's sort of right around that uh, hot hatch territory. It does get slightly beaten by an Opal Corsa, which... Actually, if that course has got the 1.6 in it, that's probably not too dissimilar to the 1.6 in this. But shut up, we'll ignore that. Um, yeah, it's just not... It hasn't got the power. If it had the power, I have no doubt that could be going a lot quicker. I.e., we've seen that with the Fiat Barchetta. But uh, nevertheless, still not very bad. Uh, there you go. That's it for this edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. Do hope you've enjoyed. Enjoy me next time when I'll be driving something completely different. Until then, farewell.